So I'm delighted to be standing here next to Derek Chikailo, and we're going to be talking about his company, which makes traps not only for, for trapping, but for monitoring uh, different types of insects through their pheromones. So Derek, first of all, I have to know, how do you, how does that get into your life in a degree of, of finding information through college? What, what led you to this? I was always interested in, in insect and their, how they find the host and the, the, and they find each other. Well, and you know, in, in talking to you before we did this, this segment, it, I was fascinated to find out that it's, they, they find the pheromones through their antennas? Is that yes, accurate? Yes, yes. They smell with, with their antenna. So, hence on our logo, if you look at the zigzag pattern here, right. the male moth will fly to the, to the plume of that pheromone with the right antenna, will, will tell them, turn left, the pheromone is ending. So he will fly to the, to the left and then he find the other edge of the plume of that smoke and he will find that female through this, just his antenna will tell him to. So that's why they zigzag. Yes. They're actually hitting the edge of what the, the female puts out. Yes. And it's not just a tiny little bit, it's out there. So they go back and forth until they narrow Entire down. Entire cloud okay. of it, yes. So then what, what, is that then the pheromones that you put in traps and stuff, that is what directs them that they hit the trap and go into it and that's how you find that, it. That's how we do that, yes. And then is that process something that, is that also then how you figure out how to stop them from existing in, in your garden and things like that? Do you know then what to do? We can do that. We can mass trap those insects in the garden with just pheromones without using any insecticides. And Derek, if, if somebody wasn't sure and they didn't want to just start spraying constantly, they just wanted to know if they had a specific insect, they can also use this, this program for that as well. Yes, yes. And farmers do that. Yes, farmers do that. Farmers monitor insect to reduce the pesticide spray. So our program can actually reduce the pesticide spray use uh, or completely eliminate it. Because once you're aware of what you have that is a problem with that plant that you're growing, then you can, can either eradicate that insect completely through the traps, or if, if you still choose to spray, you can do that, but the cost would be less expensive using the traps then. Exactly, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. So Derek, I'm actually holding these traps, and I believe they're the same as you have hanging over there, right? Yes. And so what, what is it that's, that this, these are trapping? This trap is baited with uh, two different attractants in it. One of them is for the spotted wind drosophila, which is an uh, introduced invasive pest in the United States. And um, it's tiny, tiny fruit fly that is trapped on this. Right, yeah, I see them. That can damage our strawberries, cherries, blueberries, uh, tomatoes, you name it. I mean, there's plenty of raspberries. And the other attractant is for our yellow jackets. Oh. And uh, at this point, we don't have any yellow jackets on this trap because there are only queens flying around. But uh, later on in the summer, these this traps will be covered with, with yellow wow. jackets, yes. Which is great because uh, they, they, they tend to go to where we are outside having parties and dinners and stuff. And this would be a great way to solve that problem. When I put two, three traps around my perimeter of my garden, we can eat dinner uh, on our porch. Without having to worry about without that. Without having Wonderful. to worry about it. So Derek, but, but you have ways of trapping more than just yellow jackets and, and fruit flies, right? Yes, we can do many, many different pests. We can trap codling moth on apples. We can trap cucumber beetles in the garden. We can trap uh, some other uh, pest that will chew on your lettuce or spinach. Um, we can trap, we have enough products for like over 300 insect species wow. in the world. Wow. But for our garden, we can, we can definitely help our garden to, to grow green without using pesticides. And so then where do people, where do people go to find out more about this? I just go to our website, alphasense.com or call us at 503-342-8611 and we can help you. Wonderful, you know, there's a lot of information here, a lot of good information. So of course, as always, we will invite you to go to gardentime.tv to help maybe uh, reduce the insects in your own garden and go to their website. Thank you so much, Derek. Thank you.